Hi, this is Mrs. Migdal, and today we're going to talk about characterization. We've been talking a lot about fiction and stories in class, and characters are at the center of any story. So characterization is the way an author develops a character. Now we're going to be taking notes for the next few minutes and all of these terms are very important for you to learn. So make sure that you do what I do. And if you need to stop the video and go back and listen again, that's okay. So take your time and get all the notes that you need. So okay, characters. Characters. In any story there are really two types of characters. We have the main character and we call that character the protagonist. And then there's usually another character, and usually it's a character, but sometimes it's a thing or a force. But it's the character or force that causes the problem for the main character. And we call that the antagonist. So we have the protagonist and the antagonist in any story. Now, authors need to describe these characters. They need to be believable. We know that books that we like and movies that we like have characters that we like and we believe. So when an author describes a character, they're going to tell us about a character in different ways. And characters can have two types of traits. We call those traits things about them. The first type is called physical traits. And these are what a character looks like or his appearance. They're outside things you can see outside traits so it could be tall or short or brown hair things you can see about the character the other type of character is called uh, character traits is called the personality traits and personality traits are more how a person acts what they're like inside they could be funny they could be kind they could be studious. They like to study. They're smart, right? So those are things you might not know from looking at the character, but they're a very important part of who a character is in a story. And the author has to let us know that. So let's look at an example. This is my friend, Dr. Frank, and he is a scientist. So Dr. Frank has some physical traits and some personality traits. Um, let's see, what are some physical traits? Maybe you want to stop the video here and think of three physical traits. Remember, physical you can see. Stop that video and see if you can come up with three. Okay, I'm going to share the three I think that he has. Um, he wears glasses. He has gray hair. He has brown shoes. Now maybe you came up with some different ones because there's a lot of things that you can see about Dr. Frank. But these are all physical traits that I can see and they're an important part of who he is. Now personality traits you can't see. And, and Dr. Frank isn't really moving. But we can, we can infer, we can make inferences to come up with some personality traits and that's an important part of what we've learned about reading stories is we have to make those inferences. So I could infer now if you want to stop and see if you can come up with some and see if they match mine that's great. Stop the video see if you can come up with three. My three personality traits. He is smart. I know that to be a scientist as a job you've got to be pretty smart. I also think he is serious because scientists are serious and he looks serious to me. I'm making an inference based on the way he looks. And I also think he is probably nerdy. I bet he loves science so much like it's the most important thing to him. And when you talk to him, he talks about science all the time. So I'm going to guess that he's nerdy. I'm going to make that inference. Okay, so we know that Characters have to have physical traits and personality traits. So now, how does an author do that? How does an author build those traits in? Well, there are three ways that an author develops a character. 
Okay, an author can directly state something about a character. So Dr. Frank looked down at his brown shoes as he thought about his work. So we know that he has brown shoes because the author told us. He directly states something about the character. Now the second way an author develops a character is not as direct. As a matter of fact, we call it indirect characterization, where readers learn about a character by a character's own words, thoughts, or actions. So if Dr. Frank was to say something like, wow, I know that the chemical compounds of this substance makes it very dangerous. When I read that, I can make the inference that Dr. Frank is really smart. Doesn't come out and tell me that, but I know because only a really smart person would say that. So we figured that out indirectly. We can learn about a character by his own words, thoughts, or actions. And then the third way an author tells us about a character is by what other characters say about him. So if someone walked by and said, wow, he is so smart. That's kind of direct, but it's not the author saying it. It's another character say, saying it. And of course, we know then Dr. Frank is really smart. So those are the ways that an author develops a character. Let's do a quick review. And you guys can do this too. I call this invisible ink. What's characterization? Do you remember? Characterization is a term that means the way an author develops a character. There are two types of characters in any story. Do you remember what they're called? The protagonist and the antagonist. There are two types of character traits. The first one is called, are called physical traits. Those are outside trait, what a person looks like. And the other one is called personality traits. Those are inside traits, what a person looks like. And then do you remember the three ways that an author develops a character? So let's get that number one in there. The first way is by directly stating something about the character. And there are those two examples. He has brown shoes, or because he's smart, he got a great job at the research lab. The second way is through a character's own words, thoughts, and actions by what that character says. And then the third way authors develop a character is by what other characters say about him. Wow, he's so smart. I love his brown shoes. So that is characterization. Now we're going to do some practice.